And there's a guard just pumping the bellows. Put too much air in and blow the sparks out and everything, and blow the cold out of the torch. Now, what I'll do now, I'm going to start drawing that stem out. Now, you can see that's starting to cool down, it's starting the lights go out on it, and as it dims down, Eventually, I'll have to stop and reheat again because at room temperature, it's actually refreezing, and that's hard on the hammer. It's hard on the anvil, and it'll break the steel while we're working it. If I work it while it's cold, you see, I'm getting that little little glob of metal on the end, and that's going to be the leaf. The reason I like making these is they'll fit into a demonstration. And I like to see my apprentices do this also because you're drawing to a point, then you're doing a long draw on the stem, you're drawing out, then you're doing flattening practices for making the lobes on the leaf. And you have to be relatively precision with the hammer where you hit at. You can't just hit anywhere. And eventually I'll go to a smaller hammer for two reasons. One, I'll start to get tired of that big hammer. And two, I've got to get even more, more precision with where I hit. Now I'm going to flatten it just a little bit and then we'll Pick out a good spot and we'll go to a smaller hammer and I'll change tools while I see. You notice what the fucking bills up? They'll blow for about nine seconds. And that gives me time to do that kind of work. Sometimes you'll hear the term strike while the iron's hot. You hear that? That does apply, especially in blacksmith shop. Now, I think he's kind of went away on TV, but Larry the Cable Guy says it, but he says it different. He says get her done. In other words, hurry up. And when the metal gets cold, I have to start over. So I want to get all the work I can get out of that hot metal. If you was to become a blacksmith, up until about 1920, you would have started out in a shop at about age 14, 12 to 14 years of age and you would have served an apprenticeship and you would have been from 18 to 21 depending depending on what kind of blacksmith you was going to be a general blacksmith had been about about 18 there's a wheelwright blacksmith that made wagon wheels and tires, you'd probably been about 21. You'd had other things you had to learn. Learning about the craft is pretty much a fun adventure. And
made a mislay. There we go. I fixed it. If you. Every now and then I keep pulling the coke over in the fire. And then sometimes I have to add a little bit of what's called green coal, which is fresh coal. And it'll coke off. It's like charcoal. when they're learning blacksmithing every now and then you'll have a wreck you mess one up and don't get discouraged over it but you can learn from it and it's kind of like the difference between blacksmithing and flying an airplane if you have a wreck and then it'll kill you so here it doesn't I can learn from it <laughs> 